What if your imagination could easily expand into the real world? What if your designs could be printed directly onto a brick with a UV printer at home? Don't forget to subscribe to the Youth Make channel. The plan. I've picked a bunch of bricks in varying colour to try and match my real life desk design. Since I built my desk, I already have the files for each of the custom panel, but when I scaled them down onto a brick, it was pretty hard to read any text. It's already small enough to try and read on the full scale version versus mini. For small details, less is more. I've recreated a simplistic version that is inspired by the full scale design with enough details to look like a dashboard. This is the tricky part. I can't just place this brick inside the machine. Whilst the print surface is flat, it needs to be level. Thankfully, two slope bricks can hold one in a level position. Using spare bricks, I create a simple jig to ensure that it stays level. That's because the print surface can't have more than two millimeters of height variation from the laser levels reading, or else the print will be blurry. It's worth noting that with transparent materials, they may require placing non-transparent materials beside them of equal height. Otherwise, the laser beam might pass through them and not get an accurate height measurement. Within the Ufamake Studio software, we can begin the printing process. By clicking the snapshot button, the built-in camera of the E1 takes a photo of the print bed. Since we're using small, light-colored materials, placing some white sheets of paper either side can help the camera better expose for our print area. These can be removed after the images are captured. Now I can simply drag my design into place, ensuring it is well aligned, select the material type of plastic, and set detail to high quality. <laughs> As the printer is running, its head is dropping thousands of teeny dots of resin ink in one pass and then curing them in place with a UV light on the way back. It took about five minutes of printing time per brick, but if you align them side by side, that could be sped up. I ended up creating three miniature desks and it took a little bit of experimenting to get the details right. So the default print settings of plastic being five layers white, one of color, was a little washed out on the transparent bricks. When I increased the two layers of color, it was much better. But when I used the two layers of color on the solid blue bricks, it made the grays too dark. So on the white desk, I went back to default settings, which for it, was the sweet spot. The contrast really pops and the teeny knobs and buttons look great. But the transparent bricks just match the real life desk so well. And I'm sure you can think of a vast range of unique cases for a machine like this, especially when you combine the UV DTF laminating machine to create custom stickers, which you can then cover curved surfaces with, greatly expanding the possibilities. If you want to see how I printed this custom mechanical keyboard keycap set, then head to the link in the description below, head to YouTube make.com to check out the E1 UV printer and to my channel Cam Shan to check out more of my custom tech builds. Thanks for watching. Bye.